If you're planning to visit Kinmen Island in Taiwan and you're looking for a place to stay that's a little bit more central, you can go try at the Haifu Hotel. This place is quite centrally located in the main city area with a 7-Eleven right across the street. If this is your first time visiting Kinmen, I highly recommend that you watch the clips I did on We View Kinmen first to give yourself a summarized idea of the island and its layout. Most people visiting prefer to stay in smaller villages with traditional style B&Bs and homestays. I did two clips on these types of B&Bs that you can see on my blog page. However, if you're just passing through on business or if you prefer to stay somewhere a bit more central, you could try and stay at this hotel. The Haifu Hotel is very conveniently located in the main city area with a 7-Eleven right across the road. I had a look at three of their rooms all on the fifth floor. The first one is room 516 which sleeps two people, a comfortable sized room with twin beds, a TV and a nice clean bathroom with a shower at 2180 per night with a breakfast included. The next room, room 510, is similar to room 516, with the exception that this room has a large king-side bed instead of two twin beds. The price for this room per night for two people sharing is also 2,180 NT dollars. And this one is their VIP suite, room 509, a bigger room with an additional little lounge area. a nice clean bathroom and a pretty big shower at 2680 per night on weekends and 2180 NT per night during weekdays for two people sharing with breakfast included. The Haifu Hotel also has a very nice little coffee shop area with complimentary coffee and tea for hotel guests. In addition all of their rooms are inclusive of a morning breakfast as well as Wi-Fi in every room. If you need an airport pickup they have a neat van that will pick you up from the airport at only $180 for the car that seats 6 people. And last but certainly not least, as I've mentioned on some of my other Kinman clips, I was unable to confirm whether or not Kinman has a proper sewage recycling plant. So you might want to consider not flushing anything that's non-biodegradable. And I know it sounds really gross, but just think of it as you doing your part to protect the natural environment here. And another thing, Kinmen has huge water shortages. In fact, they will soon be buying water from China. So try to make your showers a bit shorter if you can. Mm -hmm.